right, Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. I'm Val 33 Tarot, and we're just going to jump in here and see what's going on, okay? With you today, this is for Capricorn, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. So, of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Capricorn, so you're very, um, you know, focused and independent and excited and passionate and, you know, you know what to, exactly what to do with something here. Um, there's something here of nostalgia, you know, people, places, things, you know, from the past where there, but it's something very loving and nurturing and kind and fun. I mean, healing that you're doing, which is allowing you to just kind of finally be done and let go and walk away from someone or something and go on your own path and new journey here. And that's where there's a lot of progression. That's where things are really speeding up for you. Maybe you could be traveling, relocating, whatever it is here. A lot of movement there in a positive way. And it looks like you can lead into your, you know, level of like status, role, position, wealth, business, whatever it is here taking a leadership and accountability, you know, for yourself. It could be a career path, whatever it is, it's allowing you to feel comfortable enough to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you um, and no longer use them or that or whatever as a financial, energetic, emotional, physical crutch. All right, very nice. Let's see more here. Yeah, and that's helping you to really want to fight for yourself and be healthy and, you know, in general and then like figure out some things and plan for yourself and move forward really quickly. And so because of that, it's allowing you to realize who or what you are ready to part ways with, separate with, break up with and be done with and just move on. And that's where you're investing and focus on yourself. You're productive. You're working on yourself. You're going to your job. You're being, you know what I mean, like productive. You're taking care of everything and you're learning things, researching, studying. You could be talking to someone. You know, you're very much motivated, right, in the situation. Right, and that's where you're really truly organizing yourself and feeling balanced um, and with whatever it is that you are doing and creating, which is bringing in a very strong level of success and recognition for you. So a lot of good things and positive things are happening here for you. And there's a lot of money and wealth and abundance that you are creating with yourself, maybe possibly with others. A lot of good things here and a lot of wealth, love, abundance, um, you know, possibly something in regards to maybe marriage or relationship with others, you know, pregnancy, uh, whatever it may be here. Okay. But the thing is too, is it's like, it's just something here with you. That's like a new, wonderful beginning. It's loving. It's exciting, whether it's with yourself or with someone, but this is just the energy that I see here that you are in. Okay. Yeah, and you're, that's helping you to become very comfortable with yourself emotionally and be aware of who you are, what you want, and what you don't want, and your own thoughts and opinions. And that's helped you to realize, you know, um, what you are doing for yourself and feeling calm and at ease and peaceful in a situation and understanding the perspective to the point where you're okay to walk away from someone or something emotionally and just disconnect and be done. Right. And so because you're done and walking away, that's where you realize who or what has been extremely toxic, like deceptive, aggressive, addictive in your life. 
um, whether it was about yourself or a person and now you're done and walking away, right? You're not dealing with that anymore. And it's helped you to drop, like to realize who or what else was a stressful burden for you. And that's what you're letting go of now and dropping. Mm -hmm. And so now you're able to truly successfully be happy and celebrate within the situation. There's a lot of, you know, love and comfort and friendliness and support here in the situation too with whatever it is that you are going through, who you're dealing with. Um, a lot of good times and happiness and a level of success here for you. Okay, Capricorn. All right, let's see here with your closing out Oracle messages. have here life can be hard life can be wonderful which will you focus on okay so yeah it looks like here that you're just basically in that energy of understanding and knowing that that's exactly what you know life is it's there the ups and the, yeah, the downs um you know but at the same time it's like you have to take care of the good and the bad but you can always focus on what makes you feel good or happy or ideal and i feel like that's what a lot of you are doing you're accepting you know, what's been going on in your life here, what's been happening and realizing that, you know, it is really good, but there are some, uh, there's ups and there's downs. And um, maybe a lot of you are realizing that it's better to focus on things that are more ideal for you, even while going through certain things that might be um, difficult here. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, this one is find ways to lighten up and not take everything so seriously. And so that's where I feel like, you know, that's why I said a lot of you realize that, you know, there are ups and downs in life, but it still is beautiful. And you're going to focus on what's ideal for you, positive and what's actually helpful, productive and motivating instead of just making you feel, you know, sit there and freeze and get upset the whole time. Right. And so because of that, a lot of you are now finding ways to just feel OK um, feel at ease. It could be coping skills, mechanisms, whatever it is, things that make you feel happy, right? And feel good really quickly and not focus so much on the negativity here. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's what a lot of you are doing and focused on now here and that, you know, realizing that life is life, you know, um, it's quick. And so it's like, even things at times of stress or things that are, you, you know, are, are serious, you, you're someone that's not going to take it that seriously, right? You're going to still be able to, Try to enjoy yourself in the situation. All right, and that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. Thank you. Bye.